everyone, I'm here with the video on my fall picks for your lips. This is going to have some lip liners, lipsticks, balm stains, and some lip glosses. And if you know me, you know I am not shy of a bold lip. I love bright pinks, bold lips. I'm definitely more of a pink berry girl than I am. I try not to do really too many limited edition things just because obviously those are a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. But I think I have some fun picks for you and I think I have like one nude and maybe a couple that are a little bit on the lighter berry side. So be prepared to see a ton of berry lipsticks, more like pinky berries. And I of course will tell you what is on my lips today. It's also going to be a video with my dear friend Shay or that girl Shay XO. I'm sure you guys all know who she is, but if you don't, for some strange reason, please check the description box and uh, subscribe to her channel and check out her video. She's going to show you her favorite picks. And the great thing is, is Shay and I have completely different like skin tones and undertones and hair like hair color and everything. So it's gonna be great to be able to see two different girls who look completely different and see what kind of lip colors that they gravitate towards mostly in the fall. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you some products. The first are these little balm stains here. I have a couple of them. You guys know I love the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains. They are some of my favorite lip products. But the one I really love in the fall is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Crush. This is a beautiful, beautiful berry color. I love it because it's definitely a little bit, um, it's a deeper berry color, but it's definitely buildable. So you could do a light wash on it, stains your lips all day, has a nice minty smell, and um, is drugstore, so obviously the price point is pretty good. Here's another Revlon Balm product. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. So obviously I really love a purple lip too, pink, purple, berry, somewhere in between. I love them. This is a purpley one. It is quite purple and I love that it's matte, which is so, so nice. I love matte colors in the fall. I think they're so beautiful. Obviously they're a little bit more drying, so you're going to want to make sure you have nice moisturized lips. But I really love this one. Again, this is in the shade Shameless. I don't know if I said that, but it's a beautiful, beautiful berry tone. And then last but not least in the balm range is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Balm in the color, oh, 260. I don't like that CoverGirl does not put the names on there. Now, if you're just venturing into purpley lipsticks, this is a great one because it's a glossier purple, but it's a very light kind of sheer purple. So it's definitely a little bit more of a buildable color. Coverage. The thing so. I love about these is they do kind of stain your lips too. So it's not a product you're going to have to continually reapply. So I love these. Uh, if you're not into these purpley berry colors, they do have a bunch of other shades too that you might be interested in. So I highly recommend checking these okay, out. Okay, so next I'm going to move into more drugstore products. These are all permanent except for two are limited edition, but it's a new collection, so you should still be able to get your hands on it. So let's start with Milani. I love these lipsticks. I'm wearing one today, this one in Uptown Mauve, um, with a few different lip liners underneath to give it this deep berry color. But I love these Milani lipsticks. They smell like, I used to think watermelon, but my friend Laura said strawberry kiwi, and I think that's pretty much what they smell like. So very, very pigmented. This one is again, Uptown Moth, beautiful pinky berry color. It's not um, too dark, but it still gives you that really beautiful deep berry look. And then the next is Sangria, which this is a dupe for Max Rebel, which I can't find my Mac Rebel right now. So it's good that I found this. It's a little bit more of a matte formula, really, really beautiful. And I love the way they feel on my lips. They're not really, they're not drying, they're not sticky. They glide on really nice. They have a nice scent to them, so I really love that. So if you don't want to purchase MAC Rebel, try out Sangria because it's a really, really great alternative. Um, then on to some Revlon. This is the Revlon Shine Color in Berry Couture. Now this is a little bit of a, again, a sheer berry. So if you're a little bit too intimidated by the deep berry colors, try out Berry Couture. It's one of their new shine formulas, number 835 from Revlon. Really, really beautiful. Still gives you that little like berry kiss to your lips without being super, super bright is the Maybelline Color Sensational. These are by far one of my favorite lip products from the drugstore. I love the formulas. The colors are amazing. They're seriously hands down like my favorite drugstore lipsticks by far. So the first are the limited edition ones. These are from one of their newer clients. I've seen them around, so I'm sure you can still get your hands on them. The first is 995 Violet Intrigue, and it's a beautiful, beautiful purple. Um, purple is very in. I love it. You guys know I am a big, big purple fan. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple though. I think it's quite wearable. So, um, I love this really pretty on the lips. Great for fall. Number 1000 lavender voltage, which is definitely a 
purple. It's definitely a purple. I'll put it to, to you that way. It's definitely a purple. So that one is lavender voltage. And then this one is the violet entry. Three more of the Maybelline. The first one is 160 Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. Beautiful pink. If you like pinks, I think you'll really like this color. It's more of a kind of magenta pink color. Uh, looks really, really pretty if you pair like a deeper berry underneath it, like a berry lip liner. Really, really gorgeous. Of course, Brazen Berry from the Vivids line. Another beautiful purple toned lipstick. So pretty. Has a little bit of like, I don't know, pinky lavender tones to it. So it's very, very wearable. Looks absolutely stunning on the lips. And then the last one is Hot Plum, which is like one of my favorite Vivids. Definitely more of a brighter fuchsia color, not so much um, plum in my mind. And the Fifth Avenue Fuchsia definitely has a little bit more of red undertones, where the Hot Plum is definitely more of a bright kind of lavender pink. Now I have two non-MAC lipsticks right here, and I'll save the rest of the MAC ones for the end. This is the OCC Lip Tart and Strumpet. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, berry kind of reddish color. OCC Lip Tarts, you hardly need any product. Um, like that little dot is way too much, if you can see. They're just super opaque, absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite lip tars. A gorgeous, gorgeous berry kind of reddish tone. And then this one, my friend Laura got me this for my birthday or Christmas. Uh, this is the Stila Lipstick in Gemma. And this is a stunning, again, a really, really pretty purple color. I love this one. It's so beautiful. And I love that it has a really nice gloss to it as well. So this one, again, is the Stila Lipstick and gel. Okay, and now MAC. I have so many MAC. You guys know I am a big MAC lip product fan. I'm just a big MAC fan in general that I want to share with you. I'll start with the nudist one. This is one of my favorite nudes lately. It is faux, and it's just a really nice kind of mauve nude. Love it, especially if you're doing a deeper eye. Just a really pretty kind of pinky, nudie color. Has a little bit of beigey brown in it, but not ugly brown, so I really like that. That one's fun. Next, I have a Bombshell, which is a frost finish, which I'm not usually a fan of frost finishes. This one's definitely a lighter pinky nude color, but still looks really great if you have a bolder eye. So this one is Bombshell. Next, onto two berry colors that are definitely a little bit easier to wear. This one is Syrup. This is probably everybody's favorite. It's a really nice mauve color, still very much a nude, um, shade has a little bit of the berry tones but definitely very mauvey and buildable so it's quite sheer but you can definitely build it up a little bit so that's syrup a great one if you're just kind of venturing into color on your lips and then plumful is the other one i'm sure a lot of people have this as a favorite as well again a pretty kind of mauvey shade it has a little bit more of those purpley hues to them so if you want to try to venture into a berry lip, I highly recommend checking out Plumful. I'm gonna show you some purpley ones, more purple ones. These are all from MAC. The first is kind of the lighter of the purples. This one is Up the Amp. This is a newer one for me. I don't know how I didn't have this before. Again, another really pretty purple shade. Uh, very wearable in my opinion, and I think it looks so pretty. It's gonna be gorgeous for the fall. Next is Violetta, and this is a purple, it's an amplified and it's from their permanent collection. And this is a very, very purple purple, but it has a really pretty kind of, I don't know, bluish undertone or duochrome to it. It's really, really pretty. The more vampy colors. The first is a Pro Longwear lipstick from MAC in Red Dwarf. And I love the Pro Longwears. They're very, very creamy. I don't find that they're overly drying on the lips. And this one's a really pretty kind of wine with a little bit more of the red undertones. I really, really like this. Again, this one is called Red Dwarf and it is from their Pro Longwear line. The next I, it would obviously be Rebel, but I can't find that. So I'm gonna move over to Dark Side. This is a Amplified. Beautiful, it looks very dark in the tube and it's just so stunning. It's definitely an eye-catching lipstick. Very, very deep and bold and dark and vampy, but it's so gorgeous. So that one's Dark Side. The next one is Hang Up. This is limited edition packaging, but you can get it in the permanent collection. And this is kind of like Dark Side. It's just a really deep color. This one is a cream sheen. So it's a little bit more creamy and a little bit more deep. Um, has a lot of that kind of blood red, ox blood um, tones in it. So it's a little bit darker than Dark Side, but it's absolutely stunning. The next one is Media. Again, another one of these really dark, vampy lipsticks. This one um, 
is very similar to, it's a satin, so it's a little bit more drying, but it's very similar to Hang Up. So this one is Media. So it's like Hang Up, but a little less creamy, a little bit more of a matter formula. All right, and then I'm gonna move into some lip liners. Now, obviously I love Night Moth. I don't know where it's gone. It disappeared somewhere, but it's quite similar to Vino from MAC. Um, Night Moth is also from MAC. It's a little bit, just a little bit deeper. So this one is Vino. It's a really pretty, deep wine burgundy shade i what i did today is i lined my outer oh, i didn't have lipstick on my teeth the whole time uh what i did is i took vino and i just lined the outer portion of my lips um and kind of you know blended it in and then i took beat which is another one of my favorites from mac this one works really great with rebel it's a little bit more of a berry with some red undertones and i filled the rest of my lips in with beat and then I put on that um, Milani lipstick in Uptown Moth. Then um, some other ones I love. This one is More to Love. And this is a really pretty, kind of more of a fuchsia tone lip liner. A little bit more pink toned. Also, Fashion Boost is a gorgeous purple. This was from their Pro Longwear collection that came out. I think it might be permanent. I'm not 100% positive. But Fashion Boost, if you're looking for a great one for your purples. This is Milani's Fuchsia which is a really pretty, obviously, fuchsia color. Has a little bit more of those red undertones to it. And then if you're looking for a fantastic nude, one of my favorite, all-time favorite nudes is the Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner. It is just such a great nude. It really goes with any nude lipstick you have. You can um, kind of like outline your lips a little bit. If you're going in with a deeper color, you can still just put a little bit of nude lip liner if you don't have any other colored ones, and it'll really help keep your lipstick in place. So those are like my go-to lip liners. And last but not least, I'm gonna show just a couple lip glosses that I really like. Um, these are the Buxom lip glosses. This one is in Berry Blast. It's just a really pretty kind of berry pink color. They smell really good. They have a little bit of tingling sensation. They're very, very opaque. And this is a really pretty pink. I also have a gorgeous purple. This one is called Purple Haze. Works so perfect for those purpley lipsticks. This one's not as opaque um, as some of the other ones. These are their cream formulas as well. So there's Purple Haze. You guys all know I love this Maybelline one in Mirrored Plum. I don't know if it's limited edition. I have like five of them. That's how much I love it. Love the formula of these. This one is Mirrored Plum. Definitely a, like more of a lavender purple and then another one i love this is rebel lip glass from mac so beautiful if you maybe are too scared to wear the rebel lipstick maybe do a lighter like tone of that maybe plumful or syrup and then pair this over it and you can get kind of a little bit more of that berry tone so i really love that's all for my go-to fall lipsticks there was a ton of them i wanted to give you nice options and price ranges from drugstore to high end and you know, different tones of berry. As you can tell, I love berry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what some of your must have or most used fall lip products are. I would love to know. And don't forget to check out Shay's video. I will link that down below and I'll talk to you guys later.